Dante around these parts. Oh, I mean, you can barely make your way to the John, John, oh, stop, John, oh, stop, John, please stop. I'm just playing. Okay, maybe in England, they might love you, boy, DC. Oh, very nicely done. Blocks the shot and counters with the uppercut. Early connection with the left from the champ. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Let me see those kicks. Back to the jab now. Another combination here really starting to get into a striking boost. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defense. That's a big strike right there. Give me those body shots. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. Nice shot there by the champ. He's got some hands, man. Great defense. That punch had no chance. Just out of range with that left hook. There. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Just missed with the left there. Big body kick. is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, huge left. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Gotta capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like, so when you get a guy hurt, you gotta find a way to finish the fight. Just over two minutes to go. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Connected with a solid punch right there. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Establishing the jab. See some swelling upstairs now. He's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. The Korean Superboy gets tattooed by that straight punch. Beautiful body kick. Ooh, another shot to the head. Under a minute now to go round one. That one was clean. Great punch. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Beautiful kick. Oh, nice right hand, John. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. Oh, he's hurt. Protect your face. Hands up. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg. Another one. Oh, five minutes in the books. 
right, there's the horn. How about that round? He got him badly there early on. You thought that maybe that was going to be the beginning of the end. At the very least here, got to think he's going to try to get him out of here in this next round. J.A., he's on skates. I yeah. mean, he was on skates. His ability to withstand that avalanche is commendable, but he has to change something as he approaches the next round. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Oh, nice kicks. Beautiful shot lands the leg there. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot. I mean, kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Reach advantage was his at the outset, and he was able to take advantage there with the punch. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of slam on there on his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you let you go. Whiffs on that offering. Gets to the single collar tie now. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Lands a switch knee. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, nice. Unable to land with that punch. Devastating uppercut. Under three minutes to go, round two. Nice straight there by Choi. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Oh, nice jab up top by Choi. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. End this fight. End this. Now lands a kick to the body. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Two minutes to go in the round. Choi's overhand telegraph, though, it gets blocked. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Punches and punches, punches and punches. Let's go. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Beautiful punch lands there. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done. This. Under a minute to go in the round. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it. 
as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got on four ounce gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. Big shot lands for both guys. 20 seconds left. Tags him with the uppercut. Final seconds here of round two. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Round three of a possible five. This round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Well, you know he's tougher than I am, right? But this man has absorbed so much damage upstairs that... I wouldn't be surprised to see the referee call in the doctor at some point. At some point, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Attack that cut for me. Big head kick. Oh, huge left. Swing and a miss by Choi. Ooh, nice uppercut from the champ. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He oh, yeah. He's hurt now. Good block there. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. over three minutes to go. Oh, nice. Oh, a and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low as you come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. All right, now it seems as though the referee has closed his distance, monitoring the action closely. I think there's potential to stop this fight due to swelling right now. Yeah, it's only a matter of time. And it's in the reactions, right? Every time he gets hit now, he turns away. He moves away from the fight. If you're a fighter, you do not want to be avoiding the contact. But how could he not when he's been beaten this bad? Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would... Oh! Two minutes here to go in round three. All right, doing work with the jab. Swelling and blood. You wonder if at some point that's going to impact the breathing. Not a good situation for him here. Nice crack there.